good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning. We would ask you, if you would, to turn your Bibles to the book of Joel, chapter 2. We have uh, tried to study some this week on this. It seemed like it, uh, uh, we could understand it a little bit, and then we could go sideways with it and, and uh, come back to it. And, uh, and so we just... Uh, Pray to the Lord that we can uh, be a blessing, and the things that we read that we can understand. Of course, a lot of people said, "Well, this is the Old Testament," but it was types and shadows. And Amen. this morning, uh, we want to read to you in chapter two of Joel and verse one, a uh, two, uh, verse one. I'm sorry, and uh, and try to get a, a a point or two across. In Joel 2, verse 1, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound the alarm in my holy mountain. And this morning, I think if we ever did need to blow a trumpet, Amen. if we ever did need to sound the alarm, I believe this morning that we are as close to the holy mountain uh, as we can get Amen. here on this earth. And I believe we have the truth, and I believe this morning if we can, if we can only uh, help others by blowing the trumpet, and the, blowing the trumpet had several meanings, mm -hmm. but I, I, I looked at some of them, and uh, uh, I didn't check them all out and, and all this, but uh, in, in the book, in Numbers, I would, if you would, to turn with me to Numbers 10. In verse 5, Numbers 10, verse 5, when you blow an alarm, in other words, here is what in verse, I'll, I'll get back to it just in a minute, but in verse 1 of this chapter, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, so this is something that the Lord told Moses to do, and Moses Moses, and we'll, we'll look in a few minutes, Moses had a terrible time trying to lead all of the people. They right. were every which way and every which way. And uh, here we see in verse 4 the word princess. Now this word princess, I looked it up and I studied it a little bit. These are the ones that uh, Moses' father-in-law uh, I did have it. Uh, uh, I did have it rolled down, but I, don't, I can't remember. But anyway, he seen Moses trying to make all of these corrections to all of these hundreds and thousands of people, and it was driving Moses crazy. It was, I, and in and, and, and a way, some way of speaking, but he was weak. It was making it. It was just more than he could do and lead these people. Jethro was his name, and he Jethro come to him, and uh, he brought his wife and two children with him out there in the wilderness, and he said, Moses, he said, you need to go through the, the, the congregation and pick you out men, and you can write, you can find this over in, uh, I think it's in Exodus 18, 21, or something like that, but anyway, it tells a story of how he informed Moses how to do this thing. And he said, you pick them out. And he said, you put them over tens of thousands. You put mm -hmm. some over hundreds of thousands, some over down to 10. And, uh, you know, this was, this was the thing. And he said, if you can't get no results in this, then you bring that problem to Moses. And so this alleviated Moses of all of these problems. And then, so the, the Lord said uh, in verse 1 here, he, he spake to, unto Moses, saying, make ye, th th uh, make ye two trumpets of silver, of a whole piece shall thou make them, that thou mayest use them for the calling of the assembly and for the journey of the camp. Now, these are the two trumpets that they would blow. And when they would blow these trumpets, they, they, they would come, if it had a certain way they brought it, it would come to the assembly to worship. And if they moved, notice what happened. And when they shall blow with them, 
all the assembly shall or the assemble themselves as themselves to thee at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And if they blow but with one trumpet, then the princes, which was the ones that had, Moses had chose, the princesses which are heads of the thousands in, in Israel shall gather themselves together to thee. And so when you blow an alarm, then the camp that lies on the east part shall go forward. That's just the one part of it. Now notice, and when you blow an alarm the second time, then the camp that lies on the south side shall take their journey. They shall blow an alarm for their journey. So here's the thing of it. When I was reading this and I tried to understand a little bit more and comparing it to today's today's problems and, and the uh, things that come about and when we need to be warned and, and when we need to make moves and things of this nature and when we need to come to church and these things, listen, there needs to be a blowing of the trumpets. Amen. There needs to be, and I don't say get out here with a horn or something and do it like that, but listen, we as God's people need to be about his business. Amen. We need to be using these mouths as a trumpet and inviting people and telling people and warning people about the dangers that are going on. And listen, this morning, uh, there's danger. There's danger on the horizon. Amen. It's, it's there. And we as God's people need to be preparing for it. And we need to warn everyone. We've got a, we've got a, 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 a camera. We've got a thing for that we can spread the, the news all over the world. Amen. The world, I'm telling you this morning, trouble is on hand. And if you, Amen. Don't get your, if you don't get your act together, listen, things is going to get a whole lot worse than what they are. Right. So we need to blow the trumpet this morning. And listen, he said there, back in our, our lesson in Joel 2, he says, a day of darkness and of gloom, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spreads upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There hath not been ever the like, neither shall there be any more to it. The years of many generations. And no, notice, if you would, uh, this that he's talking about here, he's comparing it to the e Egypt time mm -hmm. and when the, when the locusts, when the locusts came in, and listen, they they wrapped up everything, right? With the exception of those that were God's people, and they didn't bother them. But listen, he talks about them climbing up on the window sills and and all through the house and all this. It was a it was the locusts that was doing that. They were eating up everything, every green thing that was going on, and they was they was destroying everything. But now listen, the same. Thing is on hand for us this morning mm -hmm. or for those that don't serve the Lord. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be called out. I don't know if I'm going to have to stay here and see a portion of it. I don't know if I'm going to, uh, I know I'm hearing the locusts already buzzing. So, mm -hmm. listen, it's out there. Right. And you, if you don't believe me about hearing the buzzer, I mean, the locusts buzzing, you turn your TVs on and you listen to all of this garbage and all of this false stuff that's going on about our country and everything. And listen, God is not pleased with it. Amen. He's not going to, he's not going to take it. And he's not going to let it happen. And so listen, the time is at hand for the church to, if you would, get a bigger trumpet Amen. and get a louder trumpet and get someone that is really, truly designed to blow that trumpet and get, get things to going because listen, there's people out here that does not know about these things that are, are fixing to happen. There's people out here that don't even know about Jesus Christ. And there's people about, out here that don't know uh, works from works from uh, faith. And Amen. so listen, they need to be told, they need to be moving, they, they need to be moving towards the, uh, the teaching of the Lord and hearing his word spoke because they're, is a reason for the trumpet to blow and they were here when they moved the right or they moved the left or they brought them into the church or whatever the trumpet has got a reason to be blown and so here we see in verse 3 of our lesson this morning 
a fire devours before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. And that's what the locusts done back in Egypt time. And listen, that's what sin is doing to our world and to the people that are in it. This right now, they're devouring it. Mm -hmm. And what I mean is they're getting them ready for a far at home. And listen, we need we need this morning to be more concerned about our country and, and even other countries. We need to be uh, uh, thinking about the, the things that they're going through and, and giving them a, a little help and father, uh, thanking, thanking the Father that we are able this morning to know the truth. Amen. And listen, in verse 5, notice, like the noise of a chariot on the top of a mountain, Shall they leap like the noise of a flame of a fire that devoureth the stubbles, as a strong people set in battle array? Before their face the people shall be much pain, all faces shall gather blackness, they shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the walls like men of war. That's talking about these insects. And they shall march every one on his way, and they shall not break their rank. They're not going to stop. When it says they're not going to break rank, they're not going to fall by the wayside. They're going to keep chomping and keep going on. And listen, that's why this morning that the trumpet needs to be blown. Amen. That's the reason because, hey, the armies are done gathered. And they're fixing to they're fixing to rank up and do what they want to do. And so this morning, take heed to what God's word says because it's true. And and uh, and, and you, you can laugh at it all you want to about the locusts or whatever, but you've never seen nothing like this. And you've never seen nothing like yeah. Egypt when they had that thing down there. And so this morning, we want to go this morning again to uh, numbers. I believe it is. In Numbers, uh, yeah, 10, Numbers 10, I believe it is. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Deuteronomy, listen, let, turn to Deuteronomy 28. We'll get that first. Deuteronomy 28. Bear with me, just a minute. Okay, Deuteronomy uh, 28 1. 28 1. This is what I was talking to you about all the All right. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now this is this is this voice of God, and it's saying to you and to me this morning, if we will listen, if we will if we will stop and listen and take time to understand the word of God, the trumpet blowing, the the warning coming out, because listen, God warns his people. Amen. He told Moses, he told Moses all of these things that would happen to them if they didn't do this and if they didn't do that. He says here, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day that, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations. And here I believe what he's saying to us this morning, and I know it to be true. Listen, he watches over his people. Amen. He takes care of his people, and it ain't no sign that you're going to have a, a heyday and sit back and, and point your finger at those that are dying and in and, and, and trouble and all this. But listen, he takes care of his people, and you can be assured this morning that he's hearing your prayers. Amen. And the more, listen, the more sincere you are with the Lord, the closer you get to him, and listen, the better the better your 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 joy is with, with during the time of tribulation or during Amen. the time of persecution. So he says here he says, uh, which I which I, if, if, uh, to observe 
to observe and do all this commandments at which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now this, this morning, people, we know, we know what he's saying to us. If we will get out, if we will, if we will encourage people, if we will talk to people, and I don't mean uh, lamb bam uh, the the governor of, the, of Tennessee or the the state, but tell them about the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. And what He has for them. Listen, the Lord will bless us, and He'll bless them too. He says, He says, "You're blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field." Blessed shall them be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle and, and the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy baskets and thy stores, thy fruit supply that he's talking about. Listen, there's coming a time when when food is going to be short. I don't, know, I don't know if we'll be here, or, but I, you know, I know one thing, when you get close to the far, you feel the heat. Mm -hmm. And listen, we get to wondering sometimes about what little dab of money we've got in the bank, how safe it is, or how many uh, uh, boxes of food we should store up but to get through this or that. But listen, what does he say here? He says, he says here, blessed shall be thy basket, verse 5, and thy store. Amen. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thy enemy that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. And so here in verse, I want to, it says here in, in verse, I want to read verse 15 back over here. Notice, but it shall come to pass. Now here's the, here's the opposite side. But it, it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken, if you won't listen, unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments. And I know this morning when we read the word commandments and all this, and you say, well, the commandments were done away with to a certain extent. But listen, what he's saying is obedience. That's how they kept Amen. the obedience to God was by doing the commandments. Now we do it, we do it with faith and, 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 and that, that's the way it is. But listen, if we keep if we keep faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and we serve him and try to do what he does, listen, or says, he says, I will command thee this day that all these curses shall, if you don't do them, I command that these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shall be in the cities and in, in, the, in the fields and cursed shall be the basket of thy store. So listen, you got you if you're gonna if you're gonna survive if you wanna if you wanna be in good graces with the Lord and if you wanna help this old body to kind of uh, survive you need to serve the Lord Amen. and you need to you need to continue uh, blowing that trumpet you need Amen. to and that's listen this morning that is the thing that the Lord is pleased in He wants us to tell others about Him. He wants the preachers to preach the word. He wants the Sunday school teachers to study and show their self approved. He mm -hmm. wants song leaders to sing songs of praise to him. He wants praise. Amen. And if we, and if we cannot do that, then there's something wrong with us. Mm -hmm. And listen, this morning, we ought to bow down to the Lord every day and ask him, Father, please help me this day to serve thee. Mm -hmm. And if I have an opportunity to be a benefit to someone, if I have a, 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 a time that I can encourage someone, that I can tell them about you, listen, we need to do those things. Amen. Because that's, that's what God would have us to do. And so here in verse uh, uh, Nine, uh, uh, 18, cursed shall be the fruit of thy body, the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks and thy sheep. Cursed shall be when thou comest in, and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. Amen. The Lord shall send upon thee cursings, vexations, and rebukes in all that thou shouldst thy hand to do until thou be destroyed, until thou, thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doing. 
whereby thou hast forsaken me. Mm -hmm. And so he's saying, I, and, and, and if you can't you can't make nothing more out of it. Right. It's when we when we close our mouth, when we just just stand around and won't uphold the truth, when we won't tell people about the truth and say, hey, this is what it means in the scriptures when you say this and say that. Listen, we need to be we need to be sincere about these things because what God says, He means. Amen. And, and, and if, if you can say it's in the Old Testament if you want to, but listen, you go over in the Old Testament and the New Testament, you're going to find the same thing. Because Amen. This was just a shadow and a type of, and, and it's, it's, it's still it's over there too. And so this morning, as, as God's people, we need to understand some things about uh, how He would have us to to uh, to uh, uh, do serve Him. Now I want to read some in Psalms 34. <clears throat> Psalm 34, and I don't, I, 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 I know uh, Brother Adam's teaching on that, but uh, not on this side of thing, but yet I, I found something here I wanted to read. Psalm 34. Make my own book. Uh, let's see, it's 34, 17. Notice, the righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them, out of their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are a broken heart and save such as a contrived spirit or a crushed spirit. Amen. Now in Psalms 51, I want you to turn over there just a minute and you can hold your place here for them to come back just a minute. Psalms 51 11. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, Amen. and uphold me with the, thy free spirit. Then will I teach, listen, then will I teach transgressors the ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Amen. Deliver me from blood guiltness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Now listen, listen to this real close. For thou desirest not sacrifice. And of course, in the Old Testament, he, de he, desire he desired a sacrifice. But now it's altogether different. He says, uh, uh, for thou desirest not sacrifice, else I would give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God are a broken spirit and a broken and contrite heart. Amen. O God, thou will not despise. And uh, listen, here again, back over in our lesson, I mean, our, uh, in 34, uh, 18. Look back over 34, 18. The Lord is nigh to them that are of a broken heart and save such as of a, tri a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them out of them all. He keepeth all his bones. Notice, not one of them is broken. Amen. Now, that's fulfillment of the scripture. Right. And listen to this this morning, people. If you look at this, he keepeth all his bones. He keepeth all that he calls. Mm -hmm. This is a type of the uh, salvation of God, and it is it is unbreakable. It will last forever. He keepeth, and it's just like Jesus when he hung on the cross, and they did all these things to him. They never broke a bone. And it was, fore, it was foretold that no bone will be broken. Listen, it's foretold this morning of security of the believer. Amen. Now, I, I know that there's people that don't believe in security of the believer, but listen, it's real. Amen. And when he saves, when Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, and he did not waste near a drop of his blood Amen. on that cross, and when that blood is applied to that soul of yours and that spirit, Listen, it's saved eternally. Amen. And so this morning, it's the same way with the broken bone. There wasn't a bone broke, and there's not going to be a soul lost. 
that, that Jesus Christ died for and that God called. So here this morning, verse 21, evil shall slay the wicked and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the souls of his servants Amen. and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Amen. And that word desolate, the sea, is a uh, 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 it's crushed or or uh, done away with. So this morning, these are some of the things that I I found and I, uh, that uh, concerning blowing the trumpets. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 a time this morning when, like I said a while ago, that the trumpet needs to be blown and blown and blown, and it right. needs to be a constant ringing of that 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 word uh that warning that knowledge and let people understand that the world has not got anything in this world for them they can cry Amen. and holler and scream and uh, uh, uh this is going to happen that's going to happen but listen we need to we need to blow the trumpet more than we do Amen. as an individual i'm saying as an individual i need to do more than i do and so this morning uh, I hope and pray. I pray for the lesson. I ask the Lord to bless it, uh, and I believe He will. I, I want people out there in this country and other countries, if, if they can possibly, to hear these things because it's a necessity. And listen, the horn, people. I'm so sorry to say, the horn has been dropped down to the side. It's You're not right. even close to the mouth. Anymore. Amen. And so uh, we're we're in a predicament, and the only thing that we can do is uh, just continue to uh, study our Bible, pray more, and serve the Lord as close as we can, because uh, this will give us an encouragement to blow our home more. Amen. So this is the lesson this morning, and I pray that uh, I know the Lord will take it and bless it, because uh, He wanted to talk. And so I thank you so much this morning for your your attendance. Thank you so much. Yeah.